श्री गणेशाय नम ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम जय माता दी ओके सो वी आर ऑन दि ऑनसेट ऑफ नवरात्रि एंड ऑल माई व्यूअर्स आर वेरी क्यूरियस हाउ इज इट दैट दे नीड टू कनेक्ट टू द डिवाइन मदर दिस इयर हाउ डू वी सेलिब्रेट नवरात्रि वॉट इज द मंत्रा वी नीड टू चैन वॉट आर द टेम्पल्स वी नीड टू विजिट डू वी प्ले डांडिया और हैव डॉल्स एट होम विच इज़ अ कॉमन कस्टम इन साउथ इंडिया ड्यूरिंग द नवरात्रि वॉट इज इज दैट वी नीड टू डू शुड वी कॉल यंग कन्याज एंड गिव दैम गिफ्ट एंड डू द कन्या पूजा कन्या भोजन और डू वी कॉल द सुमंगलीज मैरिड वुमेन एंड सर्व दैम वॉट डू वी नीड टू डू डू वी ऑफर सारी टू द डिवाइन मदर डू वी गो फॉर अ चंडी पार्ट और शुड वी जस्ट कॉल रिलेटिव होम एंड फ्रेंड्स होम एंड जस्ट सेलिब्रेट इट वॉट इज इज दैट वी नीड टू डू दिस इज दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर वेरी वेरी कॉमन दैट कम टू मी इन फैक्ट फॉर एवरी फेस्टिवल आई डू गेट दीज क्वेश्चन एंड आई टेक दिस एज अ वंडरफुल अपॉर्चुनिटी टू शेयर वॉट इज इज दैट यू नीड टू डू दिस इयर टू कनेक्ट टू द डिवाइन मदर See the divine mother has many names and many forms Mahakali Mahalakshmi Mahasaraswati Shri Chakra Raja Rajeshwari Nimisha Amba Annapurna Vishalakshi Vindhyachala Nivasini she has many names many forms but finally she is just the essence of all these forms that she is the divine mother she is the great cosmic divine mother Adi Parashakti who has manifested in different forms to us to actually uh, help us evolve into great beings and uh, exit the loop of karma and get into dharma so that is exactly why this year's navratri is going to be very different what my guru uh, when people ask me if i just direct the same question to my guru and ask him what is it that we need to do this navratri guru ji uh, how do we celebrate navratri how do we connect to the divine mother and uh, this year was a very different um, guidance that i received guru ji said this you are just resolved to exit the loop of karma and get on to the path of dharma that is going to be the main theme because all of us are suffering because of karma and we will stop suffering when we are following the path of dharma stay tuned to this video to know exactly what you need to do these nine nights and the 10th day of vijaya dashami how to be connected to the divine mother what are the things that you need to do to remain connected to feel her presence to just be uh, you know bask in her aura and uh, feel her presence like i said feel her presence bask in her aura and uh, enjoy every moment with her it's like every moment of bliss all the way this is mekla from pujas dot in and following shortly in this video is the divine guidance what i received from my guru stay tuned every year it's a different theme every year it's a different uh, perspective every year it's a different approach but you know it is said that all roads lead to rome so all the sadhana techniques all paths whether it's through a puja or a mantra sadhana or meditation or chanting of the durga saptashati or just visiting the devi temples all of them finally lead you to her lotus feet <laughs>
I still remember the days of my college where I was doing my graduation with my friends and every year Navratri would mean celebration and we would all go out play dandia and uh, you know dance away to glory all night and then uh, you know uh, just till we are exhausted we would just celebrate it that way without knowing the significance uh, anything whatsoever that this is a very sacred time that you need to devote to the divine mother and i would still remember that you know my mother would say it's navratri now don't eat outside and i would really not obey her so i would say no no so what if it's navratri nothing is going to happen and i would still eat out and things like that where you know uh, a certain amount of um, pious uh, and holy habits or some kind of a discipline if maintained would be great but i would i wouldn't do any of that and i would uh, you know i i won't be ashamed to admit in fact it's a fact that i have kind of violated so many rules before i actually got into this path of uh, spirituality before i found my guru so um you know we've done all kinds of things and danced and just uh, had um, you know outings with friends and and that's about it so it was just another reason to go out and just you know um, have fun but uh, as i uh, started getting myself involved in spirituality with uh, divine guidance from my guruji uh, i can say that you know he he really put it um, put the significance deep in our heart and told us exactly what navratri is all about it's just not about calling the sumangalis and the kannikas and uh, doing puja to them giving them gifts and things like that it's just not about um, only chanting the durga saptashati it's just not about mantra uh, you know connecting to devi through the mantra chanting or japa it's just not about doing shringar to mother it's not just uh, going to a holy center or a pilgrimage it is everything put together and at the same time doing at least one thing right during navratri see whole of nine nights and the 10th day being vijayadashmi if we are able to focus uh, these nine nights just by dedicating ourselves wholly and solely to the divine mother you can definitely um, at the end of the 10th day make sure that she is permanently consecrated in your heart this is exactly what i learned from my guru uh, and uh, in fact I, i i should be very grateful and i am very grateful to him because uh, every year of navratri has been different from the time i've uh, been associated and you know i've been dedicated to him as a disciple so like uh, i can say on one particular occasion he took us to vishnu devi uh, temple and on another occasion we've had satsangs where he's explained what exactly is happening uh, you know he's beautifully narrated the devi bhagavatam and uh, he's told us how uh, devi along with her assemblage of all the rishis how they are all waiting in the naimisharanya they waiting for the arrival of the divine mother and then the, how the jignasa happens jignasa is basically the discussion uh, like they throw open the floor for question and answers and devi responds to them she gives them the wisdom and things like that so we've had such fantastic uh, navratris i can say the past 12 navratris have been uh, like 12 to 13 years yeah all the past 12 to 13 navratris have been so blissful that you know each one has been diff- totally different from the other and i feel that my guru has given me a taste of what each thing is and at the same time whichever path you choose you're going to go there or you're going to her lotus feet so that is the constant awareness we need to have so when we asked him about this year 2019 sharan navratri what is it guru ji that we need to do how do we need to connect to the divine mother this year how do we need to uh, perform sadhana what kind of sadhana we need to do and uh, how is it that we will be able to feel her presence uh, guru ji said this generation um, i'm not just young or old or whatever but it means that present age uh, what people need is vivechana shakti so vivechana shakti is nothing but discriminatory powers this is right this is wrong it's not about that because that keeps changing with the society we are in and things like that but there is something beyond that which is called dharma and adharma which most of us have absolutely uh, no knowledge or very little knowledge i can say few of us have knowledge and we have very little knowledge because it's as vast as an ocean and you can't fathom everything and unless and until you are actually totally enlightened so uh, what guruji said was this year see do a particular mantra sadhana every 3 days once during the navratri the mantra will change 
but have that awareness that you do you're doing this particular mantra for the first three days another set of mantra for the next four days then what exactly happens is that uh, you will be totally in the state of awareness of uh, viveka so viveka means it's just not right and wrong like uh, he, he says he says it's dharma and adharma you should know what is dharma what is adharma and why is it that we need to know this at this time is people are constantly suffering we all are suffering only we know what is the suffering we are going through and unless and until somebody asks us we really do i mean the other person cannot even guess that we are going through this kind of a suffering isn't it so who knows what are we going through so externally all of us look very good externally all of us look very polished we, are, we dress up well we speak well uh, we move around in good um, vehicles we eat good food what but what is the internal state that we have nobody knows sometimes we ourselves don't know what what we are going through and what kind of em emotions what crisscross is happening do people understand us do they don't understand um am i understood or misunderstood or uh, am i doing the right thing or the wrong thing so uh, am i in um, accordance with dharma or adharma we have absolutely no clue and we're like who who's laid these rules of dharma and adharma and things like that we are just we have so many questions and we don't know what kind of desires we should have we don't know what kind of desires we should not have you know there is something where i feel uh, you know after listening to guruji that you know i feel strongly that you need to have viveka in every aspect of your life in each and every thought each and every word you speak and also action that you perform it should be justified by viveka so only then the suffering will end you know why because you will not perform any karma see when you perform actions with viveka there is no scope for karma at all so what happens is you exit the loop of karma and establish yourself in dharma so there is no punar janma there is no suffering again in fact when you know uh, clients call me they say what have i done wrong that i'm suffering i have only done good things to people i don't know why they have a problem with me i don't know why they want i mean i don't even wish bad for somebody and why do i have shatru bada in fact i love everyone and still i feel you know somebody is not happy with me or my progress so these are the kind of things which are very very common uh, i can say scenarios in everybody's life at some point of time or the other whether it's your midlife crisis or much later you experience something or very early at age in your childhood you would have seen your parents suffering and things like that you know it's quite possible isn't it so all this is happening the root cause is because of karma we all are karma jeevis now from karma we if we have to transit make the transition to dharma then we have to have the vivechana shakti so my guru says chant om vivechana shaktiyai namaha 108 times into 4 times a day so om vivechana shaktiyai namaha 108 times into 4 times a day for 3 days so the first 3 days of navratri you could chant the next mantra om ayin maha saraswatiyai namaha see that is another mantra because see once you have vivechana you have wisdom so uh, what does wisdom help you in is basically it will uh, prompt you with intuition what you should do what you should not do whom to meet what to talk when to be silent when to serve when to sell when to uh, make another person smile when to avoid everything you need to know see there is a there is no blue book about life see nobody can give write a book and say this is how you lead life because the situations life throws at you is very different to, from what situation your child would suffer or your wife or your husband would suffer so how on earth uh, can somebody just write and say okay this that that no it's not possible what you need to do is you need to be constantly prompted through your own viveka through wisdom from maha saraswati so and this wisdom will be like uh, will come to you through intuitive prompts or intuition or prerana like we say the prerana shakti where constantly you are being told do this now don't do that do this like we you jump now walk slowly run you know everything is being guided to you on a platter and constantly minute by minute through your breath as you breathe in and breathe out you are guided by the divine and that's the most empowering state i i feel anybody can ever achieve all the saints and sages have really been in this state and they that is why with that power of conviction they say that you need the grace of maha saraswati see because people when they call me they also say ma'am i really don't need uh, wisdom i just need money 
at this point of time i have these many um, uh, these lakhs whatever so and so lakhs of rupees as debts and i want to clear it that's it but if you want to you get an idea as to how to generate that money you need saraswati's grace you need viveka and once you get the money you need the viveka to know how to use that money isn't it so please don't look at shortcut life cannot be dealt or led uh, in a shortcut scenario uh, methodology at all you just cannot behave like that you have to think of it holistically and viveka is the stepping stone for that and the next thing that you should do is uh invoke the grace of maha saraswati which is why guruji has given the second mantra om aim maha saraswati ay namaha which is again a very powerful mantra to invoke her blessings you know all your right side and the left side of the brain cells get activated and your intellect becomes razor sharp you get clarity in thinking your emotions will not cross cross with your thinking so what happens is there is no interference but there's a very beautiful blend so you know when to use emotions you know when to be stern you know when to be um i won't say cut and dry but you you know very firm i can say so that is how you need to be right like yes means yes no means no black is black white is white there's no gray area at all so that is how you will be empowered in your life once you have the grace of the divine mother maha saraswati so after this what happens is we have completed um three days and three days so six days and then you have another very beautiful mantra uh, actually uh, om chidagni kunda sambhutaye namaha is what my guru has said and this mantra is like it comes in the lalita sahasranama and it's such a beautiful mantra because what happens is then the divine mother you know she just um protects you in a way uh, that you know she illuminates your whole being so with this illumination what happens is that your aura is protected with her light so there is no scope for negativity negative energy uh, negative influences to come whether it's your planet's influence or whether it is your karma karmic influence or whether it is your uh, emotional influence whether it's another person's negative energy influencing you you know there is circumstances you know sometimes it can really be bad so none of these will interfere with you because you are your your soul is lit and the dark suit around that the suit called ignorance like uh, you know the old time uh, la- lanterns if you have seen how are they like usually they cover when you burn it they covered with suit the black suit and then um, unless and until you clean it the light doesn't shine so what happens in this vivechana shakti ay namaha and maha saraswati ay namaha mantras are that all the suit is cleared now your soul is uh, shining really bright and it was shining earlier also but the light was not seen through now the illumination is from inside so you don't have to look for an external help all the time for everything see you should be uh, i have noticed one thing people want to attract people they just say that they want to be on attraction mode they want a quick solution for vashikaran whether it's their family members or friends or government agencies or um business associates or whatever it is so they'll just say i want to attract i want to attract i want to attract i want this person to listen to me but uh, what my guru always tells is that's not the way your approach should be like it should never be like that because how long can you hold somebody with your makeup how long can you hold somebody with your speech how long can you hold somebody with your money or your power or your position you should be in a, actually in a position where you're always in the state where your personality your aura your uh, you should be an illumined soul so much so that you know when you walk in things should happen automatically it should not be told uh, or guy- like you know somebody should not like you should not plead somebody you should not make an effort to sell or something you should be served beautifully by people around you so that can happen only when you have that kind of a, um, a total surrendering attitude towards the divine mother and uh, you should have a, a strong viveka viveka is like how vivekananda managed if you read his charitra i don't think he had that kind of money and things like that to go around us and you know spread the divine message of his master but when he was ready spiritually he had people coming and helping him volunteering to reach out to him and you know help now that is the kind of a personality you should be like you know you should be so much filled with discriminatory powers and uh, so much you should be filled with um, wisdom that you know you don't have to advertise and people just come and you know sit and listen to what you're saying they they want to um, be associated with you they want to help you they want to serve you uh, they want to uh, take your services they want to 
you know everything is like you know give 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 it's not like that you can't demand they should be like take 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 whether it's their time or their money or their uh, services or their love if not anything else you know you should just get into that mode of attracting people through beautiful divine vibrations guru always says i would love to quote him on this he says when your heart is filled with love there are no strangers in this world just think about it it's such a beautiful statement you know when you actually are in that state of love you can make a conversation with anybody you know and you won't be mistaken even if you would tell probably like you know i really love you so much and things like that they won't mistake you at all none of your words will be mistaken none of your actions will be mistaken which is why because your heart is filled with love unconditional love you're not expecting anything and that state can come only when you have a wake up now you go and randomly tell people they'll think you're crazy because you also won't ha- be in a position to tell anybody anything no you'll just think like 100 times before doing something and you worry constantly or constantly stressed i myself uh, you know many times i i feel stressed and like i said external appearances really um, <laughs> it can give a different kind of a um, it can project a different kind of opinion amongst people and people will say you are stressed i can't believe it you look so calm all the time i said i look calm but what's happening inside me how do you know what's happening inside me only i know i need to do constant work i have to constantly work on myself to be very clear about what i'm talking what i'm thinking what i'm acting so that i am in accordance with dharma and this is a lot of mental taxation i can say because how long can you go on um, plan and do things it's like it can be really stressful you want somebody to come and just take charge somebody to just take control and the best person is actually the divine mother you know why see because um, after a very long day you know it's so comforting to just go and sleep on your mother's lap you know however old she is or young she is it really doesn't matter so however however old you are or young it doesn't matter the mother's lap is the ultimate comfort even in jyotisha we say like um, the fourth house is the sukha bhava it's also the matru bhava why because ma- the mother's care and comfort cannot match any bungalow any luxury anything whatsoever in the world even on the street if you are just uh, just resting your head on your mother's uh, lap or your sh- mother's shoulder just one hug i think it can just release you from all the stress you have gone through it's better than any massage it's better than any drink it's better than any any other company so that is the beauty of mother right so now if our physical mother can be that that powerful in that kind of a state because she uses nothing but love then just imagine the mother who created our mother who created us who created my father who created everybody around me who created this entire universe what will be the state what will be the power she will be in and this is the time the navratri is the time to connect to her because when you are in uh, sync with her you just don't need any other comfort you just don't need any other luxury you don't need money see when ramakrishna told uh, vivekananda go and ask the divine mother kali whatever you want to ask he was all prepared to go and ask for 100 things but when he actually went there and saw her he just didn't feel like asking anything yeah i mean there are interpretations where people would say they he forgot he couldn't think of anything and all that but it's just not that it's the connectivity between his soul to the divine mother's soul now this navratri all of us are aiming to have that connection like i said you whatever rituals you're doing you please continue to do all of that and especially if your uh, ancestors or your parents or in your lineage in your parampara if you have had the practice of doing certain things during navratri please go ahead and do it but along with that if you are able to chant these three mantras they are then uh, i i can assure you that you are going to have phenomenal results because the divine mother is constantly going to be with you and uh, she is going to uh, ride on you you become the simha vahana for her see have you seen her she simha vahini we say so uh, she is always riding uh, mounted on a lion in some places we have seen her on the tiger so you become her vahana so that she is always mounting on your shoulders and she is constantly guiding you and she is constantly telling you do this do that don't do this don't do that so you know you don't have to think 
there's somebody else to tell you what you need to do all the time and you feel so good and even the creative aspect of you when it blossoms you'll feel so good because it's again that creativity is coming from within you through her blessings and through her only she's only activating your your brain cells the tejas the um, the glow on your face uh, the smile on your face or um, the love in your heart each and every pore of your very being whether it's a stula sharira or sukshma sharira or karana sharira everything will be like engulfed with her her wonderful grace and blessings and uh, i don't think you can ask for anything more you'll just be so whole and complete that you know you just feel like your life is made that's it because 24 hours 365 days you are in that comfort zone of the divine mother and you know we always say that you know no matter how bad the child is the mother can never be bad so uh, and mother is always forgiving so no matter what karmas you have done once you are praying to her uh, vivechana aspect you're trying to invoke her blessings through her vivechana as vivechana shakti ay namaha then uh, she will bestow you with so much of vivechana shakti or discriminatory powers that you cannot make uh, any more mistakes which will again lead you to suffering in fact you will start helping people to come out of the suffering their suffering and that that's another very soul satisfying uh, experience i can say sometimes i do have the glimpses uh, my guru has given me this opportunity and uh, i get glimpses of that um, why i'm saying glimpses is because uh, i am not fully established in vivechana shakti and uh, i have a long way to go a lot of sadhana to do a lot more to surrender to divinity and uh, i think when i do that some day i should be able to tell you on camera that yeah now with my guru's blessings uh, i am in that state so till then we have to keep trying and let's continue to do that and uh, since three mantras were revealed uh, by our guru i would like to share the audio of his uh, own voice of the mantra in his own voice because uh, it doesn't make sense like you know you can read books i can read out a hundred hundred names of the divine mother but it's not shakti path it's not uh, shakti patan we say it's not that way at all it has to be gurumukh uh, mukhena we say um, so uh, you know if we listen to the mantra at least once once or twice or maybe thrice you know couple of times in his voice that will become a seed in us the shakti path will be done and the energy transfer will happen in fact i have sought his uh, permission and blessings before shooting this video that i would be using his voice so that you know all the viewers can get benefit of it so that once the um, the seed of the mantra is there just nurture it with the uh, japa every day then automatically you will start feeling the power of the mantra and very soon uh, the vivechana shakti will manifest itself as maha saraswati in you and uh, you'll be surprised to know that you are so talented you are so skilled you have so many things deeply hidden in you which are yet to come out and uh, help the society help yourself as well and then later you will be an illumined soul through chidakni kunda sambodhaya namaha so this is a wonderful journey through these three mantras and i really wish all my viewers a very very happy and a blissful navratri just um, enjoy yourself with the divine mother's company stay tuned to her all the time if possible um morning till night if you are not working please dedicate yourself and just do the chants just think about her do shringar whatever you feel like just connect to her it's beautiful i can't tell you like um every year i which the only time i really look forward to is navratri because navratri is where uh, you know a lot of internal work happens at the soul level it doesn't happen at the brain level or at the moment and the ritual so ganesh chaturthi means like lots of sweets and so many other things are involved whereas navratri means a lot of rework it's like you go to the garage get yourself uh like you go to your workshop and get a vehicle service like that lot of servicing happens internally because it's just not a one day thing you get nine days of navratri and then vijayadashmi so uh you get ample time to work on yourself and um all the my guru has said you know chant at least four times a day uh, four malas a day and you could also increase it to more and uh, he's also given specific timings which i will mention in the description box if you are able to follow that please follow like so he's given different timings and i will also share that uh, in the description box you could try and follow that 
otherwise also he's saying he's very considerate he says the divine mother is considerate so just be connected to her chant it uh, like make it like uh, let it be a part of your breath don't program it just oh only now 6 to 7 i'll do this mana oh my mama then that's it not like that so just program it in such a way that every moment you're looking forward to connecting to her now it's a beautiful experience and i can't wait but to do that so um, i think after i finish editing and uploading this video the only thing i'm going to do is that particular mantra do chant the mantra and share your experiences in the comment box below uh, it will really inspire others also to take this up and do it perhaps next navratri and let the divine will prevail and if devi wills definitely we'll all uh, again be guided by the divine mother herself as to what should be done the next navratri okay uh, wish you all a very 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 happy navratra jai mata di and uh, just uh, just after this conversation of mine you can listen to all the three chants one after the other in my guru's voice that is the shakti patana thank you so much i wish you all the very best namaste oh विवेचनाशक्त नम ओ विवेचनाशक्त नम विवेचनाशक्त नम महासरस्वती नम महासरस्वती नम सरस्वती नम ओ चिदग्निकुंडसंभूताये नम ओ चिदग्निकुंडसंभूताये नम ओ चिदग्निकुंडसंभूताये नम